Hey, what's going on guys? This is a quick video of my experience so far of the Pixel 6. And if I have to, if I have to say it in one word, it's been buggy. Uh, ever since I got it, I mean, it was fine the first month, but after that, uh, just little things started to add up over time since launch day, so since the month. Um, my text message wasn't going through. I had to do a restart in order, in order, in order for me to send messages. And um, also, uh, when I turn it back, when I do a reset, I get a bunch of messages that I missed. I haven't received them. My mobile internet would discontinue. The mo like for instance, like the mo the little explanation point on the corner right here would turn off and so forth, and everything else. Um, Stuff like that was just getting a little annoying. Bluetooth, uh, when I try to pair it to my car or my Bluetooth headset, the Google Buds, it, it will connect initially. But if I pause it or I put my earbuds away or for whatever reason, when I reconnect, restart, want to do anything. And also, it does help that Google is very slow with these updates. Uh, I think with the month of December, we didn't get into January. And as of right now, the March update it's gonna be pushed back into for the pixel for the Pixel Six for uh, later this month in March instead of the initial ones like the Pixel Four or the other Pixels. Uh, I don't remember the Google experience being so buggy. Um, I be I believe the main culprit is the Tensor the Tensor chipset. Uh, it's not optimized for the Android Twelve, so it just re it just ruins the whole experience for me. And like I said, Google is not fast enough to provide these updates, and usually the Pixel 6 is last of the Pixel line to get the updates. And if Google continues to up, up, continues to slack with these updates, this experience is going to get laggier and laggier too. And as a result, I moved on to the my Galaxy S22 in black, which I'm filming right now. But I mean, uh, I would def still recommend the phone for anyone. Uh, just see if there's any bugs or anything that adds up and. If there are bugs and if you're okay with it, just keep the phone. If not, just return it within 14 days. Of course, I have, I got this through T-Mobile and I can't really return it, so it's mine to keep. Hopefully, the future updates come in quick and and fix these bugs pretty quickly because I do want to go back to the Pixel 6, but uh, I just can't use it right now. I just, just it's little things that add up over time and just super annoying, especially when I take photos and so forth. It's just like there's so much camera lag when I first open the uh, camera app and after that when I take photos multiple bursts or photos like that and it's just like lags so that was my quick take about the pixel 6 I definitely recommend it and just be cautious